Uh, hello there people, uh, this is Mr. Critic and you are watching my LP of Panzer General and this is sort of a prologue to Berlin the last stand for the Axis which was promised by me to Fatal Hearts um, quite a while ago but I wanted to finish other matters first so let us have a look so this is a scenario I have what is wrong what is wrong Oh, sorry, some problems. Okay. Uh, so, let us take a look what this scenario looks like. So, it is April 1st, 1945, and as you can see, uh, as the Germans were getting attacked from both sides, Western Allies and Soviet Union. Mm, I forgot to check for the turns. So, 13 turns remaining. Um, now, I have uh, turned hidden units on for this part. Um, uh, now, I was thinking, you know, um, shit, the TV is too loud. Give me a second, please. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry. So, I have a couple of questions for you, and please provide me with an answers until Friday. Today is Wednesday. So, one thing. Would you like me to play this with hidden units on or off? Now, the thing is, if we are playing this with hidden units off, we of course cannot see the entire uh, Allied army, and also we cannot see all of their advances and everything. And um, this is even more the case than in Belorussia that I played, you know, at it's the very first part of my LP. This scenario will be defensive, I believe, until turn 6, 7, 8. And um, usually uh, the attacker can make better use of hidden units on. Plus, of course, you will see everything, all the time. Um, what is the enemy planning? Um, how am I defending myself? What comes next? Uh, the only um, benefit I see for myself with playing with hidden units on is that I will be able to, you know, predict uh, what will enemy attack? On the other hand, you know, um, all of my weak targets will be exposed to the enemy and as you can see, in the air we are outnumbered and outclassed. So this is my first question. The second one is, uh, should I do this um, Video, videos actually, um, you know, as sort of a tutorial to explain what am I do, what am I doing, and why. Or should I just go through it, uh, you know, the best I can and comment a little bit, but not everything. Now make m no mistake about it. This is difficult. Um, we are outnumbered, you know. Uh, also, we have 
like here near the city of Dusseldorf and Duisburg we have like three armored units check out the enemy you know armor all the way for example Frankfurt and mine cannot be defended see why not uh, not for a long time at least um, same goes for the Eastern Front um, how can you even try to defend Vienna with all of this uh, this is Joseph Stalin too remember this tank uh, this is the only tank that is actually uh, from the Soviet arsenal of course that is actually good enough to confront Tigers and Panthers uh, still below them but really close uh, so and the third question I have is how uh, what will we consider you know a decisive victory because mm, if you're playing this as a campaign you need to you need to hold Berlin plus five other objectives for a major victory at the beginning we hold here Berlin one two three four five six seven I guess again four five six eight so we hold eight victory objectives at the beginning uh, and also <laughs> for a normal victory uh, which doesn't different uh, different sorry I cannot pronounce this so which is not different from a normal victory in a scenario you can only hold Berlin no other objectives so the best way to win this scenario is just to form a circle around Berlin with armor place all the elite fighters on top of it perhaps some air defense in the middle or artillery and just you know stay put because they cannot defeat you uh, these fighters even though there are few of them cannot be defeated by anything that the Allies or Soviets have. So, what can we consider as a decisive victory? This, this is a huge question actually, because we have only 13 turns. So, it is impossible without cheating, of course, to destroy the entire invading army and take all of the objectives. Mm. Yeah, I basically said everything I wanted to say. Mm, yeah, so in the past, uh, usually when I played this scenario, I was able, you know, to secure um, the area around uh, Dusseldorf and Duisburg, um, even take an objective or two. I was losing majorly here in the south because I really I have I do not have anything, you know, that can stand up against the American and Allied forces and basically I ended up with sort of a circle here um, or even here where there are victory objectives uh, and uh, holding the line here in the south so those these units here could not penetrate my defenses also when I was really lucky I was able to hold on to Vienna <laughs> mostly because I was able to place a Yak Tiger or, or a Tiger in Vienna on the very first turn or on the second turn and here actually in the middle in Berlin I was able to defeat the core army and hold the line here so what is a decisive victory I ask you this because uh, mm. it is not so obvious uh, too few turns if we had like 25 turns for this scenario I think I would be able to take all of the objectives or even if we had like 20 of them but 13 is not enough mm. so it is a strange scenario to play oh even more major I mean even more victory objectives I'm half blind even with my glasses so 
Okay, so uh, I will play this, but please let me know at least this. Uh, would you like me to play this with hidden units on or off? The same goes for the weather. We can turn it on or off. The weather actually favors the side that has air superiority. So in the beginning uh, this will be for the Allies and the Soviets. But after, I don't know, six or seven turns, I will achieve air superiority. Yes, I know it kind of the moment sounds <laughs> silly, but yes, I will win this air battle. Even though it is difficult, but it can be done. What else did I want to say? Uh, oh, as for the tactics. Uh, in the east, you have to hold your ground. Uh, if the enemy gets across the river and advances on Berlin, you're lost. So, against the Soviets, no retreat, no surrender. In the west, with the exception of Essen, Düsseldorf and Duisburg. You can allow the enemy to cross the river, take some of the objectives uh, and you, you know you have sort of a flexible defense, trade space for time uh, because it is a long way from here to Berlin. Mm. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Tell me your opinion on the matter uh, because I will not do both versions. Uh, I generally dislike doing very difficult scenarios uh, as a let's play. So tell me, tell me, what do you think? Uh, hit the units off or on? Whether off or on and what would you consider uh, a decisive victory like I said officially Berlin plus five other objectives but tell me what do you expect I will not be able to take all of the objectives or destroy all of the enemy units in this scenario it is near to impossible you can either cheat or you can get extremely lucky to do it, but I do not cheat and it is highly unlikely that I will get extremely lucky. So, uh, this is it. Um, you have two days for your comments. Uh, it is, like I said, it is Wednesday here. Uh, close to evening. On Friday evening I need to know what to do since uh, on Saturday morning I will start with this. Um, and of course, <laughs> unlike the previous scenario, I just wanted to add this. Uh, only coffee, uh, no scotch for me, <laughs> because it is <laughs> way too difficult to do this even if you are completely sober. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic and bye-bye.